Solo travel, are you single? Is your goal to get a man? Welcome to my channel. Today we are closing this USA segment of my life, which has been the past like eight months. And that's insane to me that I've been in the USA with Yuki for the past seven to eight months, traveling and exploring and everything comes to an end at some point. Um, I don't think this is the end forever, but for now, we're just gonna close things off here. I purchased Yuki in the winter time in Ohio. I fixed her up drove her to North Carolina, and then I drove her to the west, all over the west. We drove all the way back here, and we've come full circle. Now I'm traveling to a new country to do van life, and that country is Germany. That's right, Germany. The reason that I chose Germany is very simple. It's because they drive on the same side of the road as the US, and I find the German language to be a little bit easier, and then also in Germany, a lot of people speak English. And I have a few friends there. I don't know if I'll meet up with them or not, but that's the reason that I randomly chose Germany because I've been there before. I'm really terrified about driving and doing van life in Germany because I know international van life is very different than USA van life. I've had an amazing time learning the ways of the land here in the USA and I feel like it's time to expand and figure out Europe. So I decided to do a Q&A which I haven't done in a long time on my channel. So I asked you guys to ask me questions and I'm going to answer them. I want to answer this question first. The question is, are you sending your sweet ride over there or meeting up with someone that has a van? I am not sending Yuki overseas. It would cost a lot of money just for her to break down overseas and I wouldn't be able to speak the language to get her fixed. But I have put so much into Yuki and it does make me very sad that when I do go overseas, I'm going to be living out of a foreign van in all aspects of, I know Yuki very well at this point. I've put. I've built her out. I even just recently got an amazing solar panel from OptiVolt, which they sponsored this video today, by the way. I do plan on coming back to the US to continue Jeep life. But in any case, I do wanna up my game. Having power in your conversion obviously is very important. This solar panel that I got from OptiVolt actually works in the shade. So solar panels are kind of like uh, Christmas lights. And if one bulb goes out, then the rest goes out. If there's any shade or leaves or anything blocking the sun rays at all, usually they just don't charge good, which makes it perfect to secure to the top of either your camper van, your conversion, whatever. I wanna secure it to the top of Yuki. I have to figure out a way with the, um, the roof rack, but I do wanna show you how it charges my battery. I'll show you that a bit later. So it does make me a bit sad that I won't be having Yuki and all the things that she has with her, but I will be exploring new vehicles. <laughs> like I'm cheating on Yuki. I just need to see other other vehicles, Yuki. Anyways, let's get to the next question. What is your main goal in Germany? My main goal for this Germany trip is to be very gentle on myself and to learn how to drive internationally because a longer term goal is that I wanna be able to do van life, camper life, overlanding in different countries. I'm starting out a little bit simple or easy, but even so, this is gonna be really difficult for me. I got multiple questions about this and they're worded in different ways. This one says, being a solo traveler, do you ever struggle with not sharing amazing experiences with someone else? And then some other ones were like, how do you handle being alone? Solo travel, are you single? Is your goal to get a man? Doing things alone all the time has its pros and cons. I've talked about being solo and single and alone a lot on my channel. Driving internationally, going to a different country, and being alone is very intimidating to me, even though I've done it before. It's always the same type of anxiety. I do struggle often not having someone to share these experiences with, because I do see a lot of pretty things, and I do have a lot of sticky situations where it would be really easy to just have another person, but it's not that simple. You can't just be like, I want another person, so any Joe Schmo will do. I am incredibly particular with 
who I choose to spend my energy on, who I choose to influence me or be around me. And that's just come with a lot of years of figuring that out because I used to just hang out with anyone, you know? It's easier to have friends to travel with because it's always pleasant and you don't have bad memories and it's not so intimate and close. The question about being single, be, doing a solo female travel life isn't by choice. It's because I do have very particular standards that I want for people that are in my life. So I don't really associate with a lot of people. If I want to do something, I'm just going to do it whether I have the people with me or not. A big thing about my mindset in life is that I'm going to do what I'm going to do whether people believe in me, whether people believe it's possible, whether people will come with me, whatever, it doesn't matter. If I get something in my mind, I just have to do it. So I go out and I travel and I don't wait around for people. And having a relationship while traveling is next to impossible. It's really hard. It's not that I don't meet cool people. It's that the logistics, it's, it's simply logistics. Plug this in and then we'll just hook this up and it'll charge my battery. So I'm gonna hook this up and put it in my battery right now. The solar panel is incredibly impressive. There is no direct sunlight on it right now. It is completely clouded. Whenever I had my other solar panel and I tried to charge this, it would not charge unless it was directly in the sun. And mind you, this was the west sun, so very intense sun, and it wouldn't really charge unless I had a crazy amount of sun. This is not even in the sun, and it's charging is over 30 watts now. You could go off grid forever and just have power. The next question is, do you plan on being a YouTuber influencer for the rest of your life? I never really planned on being a YouTuber or an influencer. It just kind of happened and I've been doing it for a really long time. I don't plan on doing it for the rest of my life. I mean, I just kind of go with the flow of things. Like I just want to do whatever is creative and that I feel happy about doing. I love doing YouTube, I love video and creative and content and stuff like that, but if it runs dry, then I would love to someday have an animal, like own an animal sanctuary and rescue uh, with monkeys and stuff like that in a different country. I think that would be really cool. How do you plan a trip overseas? You're asking the wrong person. I'm terrible with planning. I usually just plan a week at a time, which is not the best money saving way to do it. Usually the first thing I'll do is figure out what I want to do in this country, book that, then book the flights and the accommodation after that and kind of try to do that all in the same day so everything's aligned and then not think about it until I have to leave. Do you ever get sketched out when you were sleeping in rest stops or out in the wild? No, only the last time that I did with, the, with those people that come, came and kicked me out, but I wasn't sketched out as much as like annoyed. I don't know, I just haven't had a bad experience yet. No. How do you ignore society's expectations like the nine to five, etc.? It has to be kind of intentional because uh, the norms and society's expectations are everywhere. It's how life is structured for those people and life isn't really structured for me. So I struggle a lot and um, a lot, I get in a lot of situations that are weird and I don't know how to navigate, but I figure it out. I don't believe that we should waste our lives doing things that don't make us feel fulfilled or like we're being productive in the world. Everyone has their own life path and mine just happens to not be as traditional. <laughs> So I, I kind of just do whatever I want. Like I've said before, I just do whatever I feel like doing. And I don't really take things that seriously, like because I, we all die in the end and that's just how I think about things. Like, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, I'm gonna die. We're all the same thing. Do you see yourself building a tiny home? Yes, actually, I would love to do that. Um, I still, like I love doing van life and I love home on wheels type of thing, but it would be really nice to have something more stable I do crave stability every day of my life, and I'm not the happiest person in the world. I, ha I don't have it figured out, so when I, I don't really like to give advice to people because I haven't figured it out myself, but I think it'd be really cool to build a tiny home. Do you ever get shy when you're on camera and forget what you're going to say? Every time. I do cut a lot out of my videos, just the uhs and so's and also's. I've always had a camera on me, my, like most of my life, and you'd think it would come a little bit more naturally, but I don't even know what I'm talking about most of the time. That's probably the problem, so I, I don't know what's going on. Look how small I look compared to Yuki, I never realized. I look tiny. <laughs> I hope in the van that I rented in Germany um, isn't too much bigger than Yuki. I think she, it's a little bit bigger, but it'll be, I want to progressively be able to drive bigger and bigger vehicles, but uh, I don't have a lot of experience driving a big van yet. It's like a sprinter van. I could have gotten a sprinter van, but I didn't because it's too big for me to drive. I'd be terrified. And I know the roads are a lot smaller there too. Where would you travel in Europe that you haven't been yet? I'd love to go to Spain, Portugal. There's actually everywhere, just everywhere. Um, 
I can't even comment yet because I haven't been enough places to even know what I want to do. So I, I just kind of like go with the flow and see what opportunities arise. Where do you see yourself in five years from now? I'm hoping to have a relationship within five years. I would love to have that phase of my life. Um, I've had a, a very long phase of being single or being in not so great relationships, relationship I guess. I haven't experienced a lot of that adventure, so I'd, I'd like to have a relationship. I would like to be doing something purposeful, and I would love to be more, have a bit more stability or a base somewhere. How's your mental health? Have you been going to see someone or doing anything differently to aid in your anxiety and depression? For a few years, I went through a really bad mental thing, and I think it was very necessary, and I'm very grateful for it. It was after a really terrible um, breakup. And it took me like a good three years to come back around and find myself as a person. I wouldn't say get back to myself because I've changed so much, but to see life and to cope in a much more healthy manner. I think the main things that I have figured out that have worked for me is really getting into kind of philosophy, neurology, psychology, dotted with a little nihilism, a little Taoism, a little Buddhism, a, little, a lot of consciousness work meditation, stoicism, a lot of those things. And I just study and I read. And whenever I'm in a bad spot, I'll study and read and it always makes me feel better. And I do believe in a lot of energies because we're all energy. All of that combined, it's my own personal journey. I can't recommend something for everyone, but that's really helped me. And I'm not always 100%, but we're not meant to be. We're human beings. We're, we're very finicky, weird things. Just knowing it's not meant to be perfect that's a good step in the right direction. So I've healed a lot. I've been single for a very long time too. That's really helped. I've just kind of let things go. Not to say that I don't have my moments because I definitely do. I'm very anxious right now. I'm very anxious, but I push past it by just doing it. I get a lot of questions about what's the most favorite place that I visited. And I don't honestly have one. I think New Zealand is really beautiful, but it was because of the experience that I had. For me, it's all about the people and the experience that I've had in the place. So I don't have a favorite place. You had many video collaborations with other content creators. Do you still talk to any of them? Honestly, no. Um, the only friends that I really have that I've kept, they really just like Steffi. There's some here and there, but like from my past and LA and stuff like that, no way. Those are some of the people that I just didn't give me a good energy or whatever. They didn't influence my life well. I intentionally don't associate with a lot of people. I've never been known for my cautious side. You should know that. So I leave to Germany in a day. Um, and I just kind of been packing, kind of like figuring out everything. I don't know when I'll be back to the USA, so I don't really know how to store you keep. I did get these off my wish list. They're kind of cool. They're like, they're travel bags, but like, like you take all the air out of them. And you have like an extra zipper that compresses them. This one's not that full, but if it's full, you like with clothes, you just kind of push on it and it makes it all nice and flat so you can store more stuff. One of the questions was, um, what are you least excited for when traveling internationally? And there are a lot of things, N namely having to carry luggage around. I loved doing Jeep life here with all my stuff, put in and organized in a place where I know where it's at and I could take as, you know, basically most of the things that I wanted to take with me. But whenever I travel internationally, the worst thing about it is the suitcases and the luggage. I hate it so much. <laughs> I would love to have a partner that could just carry that for me. <laughs> Another question was about clothing and how I always have different clothing, even though I travel so much. Honestly, I wear the same things a lot every single day. I went ahead and purchased myself an air tag to put in my suitcase because I've had issues with suitcases before and I, it'd be really nice to know to track it. I'm trying to be more organized. It's gonna be weird after eight months of being in the USA to travel international again. My last questions are kind of just about uh, my hair. Um, people asked if it's real. Yes, it's real. Uh, someone asked, am I ever gonna get rid of my dreadlocks? Uh, I, had, I don't really think about that. I don't think about my hair that much. <laughs> I get a lot of questions about it. I don't really know why. It's not something I really 
think about often. I've had dreads for a very, very, very long time, and it's kind of just worked for me as a person, but I find it kind of boring to talk about hair. <laughs> so I had a lot of editing to do before I leave. I don't know what the situation is going to be with electricity and stuff in the, the camper van that I rented. I don't, I don't know anything. All I know is that I have to put down a hefty deposit, 1500 euros, which is even, which is like 16, 1700 dollars. So if you guys wanna know the general cost of renting a van in Germany anyways, a lower cost one, this one was lower cost, it's about a thousand dollars for a week. That's a, it's a lot for me. I'm kind of scared of what to do after though. Comment below what I should do after. I'd like to continue doing van life. But hopefully I'll find a van company I can work with. Van life is expensive, whether you own your van or whether you rent the van. Another big shout out to OptiVolt for sponsoring this video. Uh, I have a discount code down below for you guys. Thank you for coming along with me on my USA adventure. I hope you'll come along with me on my European adventure. I'm terrified. I need you here with me, okay? <laughs> Stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. So let us just do